Hey, Hammond. Listen, it's your band one here. I was away for a while, but I'm back. Hey, first of all, I want to congratulate Microsoft. The Xbox One sold over 2 million units worldwide. If that is the truth, or at least the whole truth, because Microsoft is not above bending the truth when it suits them. You know, all you have to do is remind, go back to last generation with the 360. You know, uh, I, I was watching a couple of the videos and, and I checked out a uh, Broken Games video. Broken Games HD, and he was saying that uh, something about that Microsoft was saying that all the Xbox Ones were sold out. So when they come in again, you know, for the Christmas rush, you better rush them right up. And yet a lot of retailers were saying that, sure, they have plenty of Xbox Ones available. As a matter of fact, they had the large edition. You understand? So what I'm saying is, but the Broken Games HD, Yo, dog, you seem like you were trying to, like, do damage control for Microsoft. Or, or let me just say, maybe it was you trying to stay neutral or be unbiased about it. But believe me, Microsoft knows. If anybody thinks that Microsoft doesn't know how many Xbox One units are being sold to a consumer for those retail outfits, think again. I mean, just like, a, does anybody, anybody in gaming believe that when Microsoft first launched the Xbox 360 that they didn't know that those consoles were defective from overheating, you know, the red ring of death? Because if you think that, think again. Can you imagine over a 50% failure rate? There has never been a, over a 50% failure rate in gaming console history. But Microsoft did it. I mean, would you buy a car from a manufacturer that had over a 50% failure rate? Shit. <laughs> Would you buy a toaster from a manufacturer that has an over 50% failure rate? I tell you, boy, Microsoft has more lives than a cat and always manages to land on its feet. Bravo, Microsoft, bravo. You know, I mean, uh, hey, you guys, man, you know, it seems like Broken Games HD, he's, he's trying to be neutral. See, I understand you guys, man. You and Hardy Times and Boogie and Rich from USA, you guys, I mean, y'all have to contend with viewers. It's a tough job, you know, your fan base. Not to mention, not to mention, you know, in a way, y'all are like celebrities. So I, I can understand, you know, doing damage control, you know, because, like, you know, you're neutral. Party time seems like he's having fun with it. Boogie act like he's running for political office, and Rich from USA Tech seems like he flip flops all over the place, man. With you know, with those key eyes and all of that. Hey, but it's all good. All I'm trying to say is that you know, Microsoft and Sony seem it seems like the tale of two cities, you know. Whereas Microsoft wants you, he wants your console, the Xbox One, to be the entertainment console that plays video games. Whereas Sony wants your PlayStation 4 to be a video game console that entertains. That's the difference. You see, that's all I'm saying. What I'm saying is just opinion. Everybody has what I feel like. Sony is more in tune with the game than Microsoft. 
And what's this about, what, 100, 116 megabytes um, hard drive memory just for the, uh, just for the OS, but that's for another video. So, once again, congratulations, Michael, for uh, two, over two million units worldwide. And, uh, well, you know, you're the master showman. You are the master entertainer, not master beta. And, you know, uh, what other corporation, I mean, like, could pitch a product and sell a product after the red ring of death, man, and still have all these backers. Only Microsoft could do it. So once again, congratulations. Okay, gamers, this is Itchy Band 1 here. Later, I'm out.